Next slide. And then we also okay, wanted to I show. Also, yeah. the number for Iran. Does anybody really believe that? You see what's going on. Does anybody? You put, put that slide back if you would. Does anybody believe this number? Does anybody believe this number? You saw more. And this is why. Bags on television than that. This is why the reporting is so important. And I think you remember. Almost six weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I was telling you what Italy was showing to us and what France was telling to us and the warnings that they gave to us and said, be very careful. There's an extraordinary high mortality among people with pre existing conditions. And we use their information to bring that to the American people. That came, that alert, that alert before we even had significant cases, came from our European colleagues on the front line. And that's why we keep coming back to how important in a pandemic and a new disease, it's really critical to have that level of transparency because it changes how we work as a nation. It allowed us on, on over March 15th to make an alert out there about vulnerable individuals and the really the need to protect them and my call out to millennials to really protect their parents, protect their grandparents, and get that information out to everyone, that there were pre-existing conditions that put people at greater risk. That information came from our European colleagues who were in the midst of their battle themselves. And so there is never an excuse to not share information. When you are the first country to have an outbreak, you really have a moral obligation to the world to not only talk about it, but provide that information that's critical to the rest of the world to really respond to this credibly. And I really want to thank our European colleagues who worked so hard to get us that information, even in the midst of their own tragedies. And I think that really shows how important transparency is.